My name is Nova Holland. I usually work in the Media Design Lab, but today I am in the Video Production Studio on the bottom floor of Ramsey Library, right across from the Media Design Lab. My name is Noelle Martin, and I'm a Video Production Student Assistant. My name is Xander Lord. Uh, I'm an assistant at the Media Design Lab. My name is Kent Thompson. I'm the Video Production Manager and the Media Design Lab Director here in Ramsey Library on the lower level in Suite 30. Also on the lower level where the Media Design Lab is located is the Craft Studio where they have a 3D printer for students and they also have large format poster printing. I love getting to show people around the lab. A lot of times people assume like the library is for checking out books, but we can check out so much more than just books. We have audio equipment, we have video equipment. Uh, so if you want to reserve equipment, uh, you'd want to go upstairs and talk to the people at the front desk. Uh, they have all the equipment that you'd want up there, microphones, cameras, all that stuff. If you go to the Ramsey Library website and go to the Media Design Lab home, you can see where our hours are, how to reserve and rent equipment, and examples of class projects that we have done. In our resources tab, we have guides to show you instructional tutorials on the programs we offer. We have a tools tab to show you the free software programs we offer in the lab that you can also download on your personal computer if you end up liking them. And we have a media tab giving you links to free images, audio and video resources. People should come to the Media Lab for a number of reasons. Uh, one of them is we have a very helpful staff here, all of whom are always willing to come by and help out no matter what you need or, or what you're having trouble with. Uh, the other thing is I think the environment over here in the Media Lab is very good for working. It's, it's usually very quiet down here. Uh, it's a good change of pace. We have an audio lab, we have an edit lab, and we also have a TV studio um, that are all open for students to use. And, and it's very fun to be hands-on with the technology, especially when it's so readily available at UNCA. It's a lot easier getting help with a program you might not be totally used to with someone that has experience in that program and can give you tips and tricks on how to get the project done and put out your best work that you possibly can do. We know how to use these softwares. We know how to help you find what you need to find, help you edit what you need to edit. So one of our philosophies here at the Media Lab is there's no such thing as a bad question. Every question is a good question. Uh, so you can come in here to learn anything that you want to learn. We don't want anybody to come in here and be embarrassed that they don't know something because that's why we're here is because we want to teach people everything that they want to know about everything that we have here. I would say a lot of students get nervous about coming to the Media Design Lab because a lot of them are not used to that environment or used to using those programs. And I understand it's scary, but I want them to know that we're all here to help them and help, help them succeed in whatever they have to do down here. So for example, if you have a final project, uh, you have to do a slideshow or something, uh, you can come down here and we can show you things like uh, themes for the slideshow that you can use to, to get your ideas across better, uh, specific transitions, how to change up the flow of your slideshow to kind of get the information to your audience better. Uh, things like that are what we specialize in, trying to make sure that your projects end up being as good as they can possibly be. Microsoft PowerPoint, printing. I've helped so many people use the printer. Just how to use Word properly. Uh, we can help you with that. You want to learn how to create an Excel spreadsheet. We can help you with that too. If there's, you know, little things that you're struggling with, like how do you use Audacity, for example, to record audio? Yeah, let's say you want to do a project and you need to edit a video. Um, the video lab and the media design lab offer a lot of different softwares to use. We in the video lab, we use Final Cut and we also use Adobe Premiere. Uh, my favorite thing to teach people down here is definitely Premiere Pro, uh, just because video editing is my whole bread and butter. That's what I like to do. We can teach you how to do website design, um, how to make a pamphlet, design a t-shirt. Something that you could use to kind of put on a resume and be like, oh yeah, I know how to use Photoshop, or yeah, I know how to use Premiere, or After Effects, or any of those. Uh, but even just like lower, like base level stuff, like uh, 
you know, converting files is definitely one. Uh, learning things like Google Sheets or Docs or how to use Google Slides, how to make websites is something that we teach here uh, quite often. Um, how to make timelines and things like that. Uh, just sort of helpful skills that people could use to show to potential employers and say, yeah, I, if you need somebody that could do this, I, I, I learned how to do it. It gives you skills and programs that not a lot of people know how to use, and employers might see this as a benefit to their company and feel like you are more hireable than other potential employees. We started the Media Design Lab in 2014 with four Mac workstations kind of as an experiment to help students out um, that didn't have access to programs like Adobe Creative Suite or editing programs or poster designing programs. But now students from all over campus have a place to go where they can edit videos um, and get help editing videos and design graphics and, and um, print posters and all kinds of things. In terms of final projects, we can help you edit, we can help you record audio, we can help film you in our TV studio. We have a big green screen studio uh, with a tripod and chairs and two big lights there already. Students can reserve the TV studio um, through email or a telephone call or just come by Suite 30 on the lower level of Ramsey Library. Uh, here in the studio, we have student technicians that work here, uh, along with myself, that do all the recording for you. It's your idea, as you bring in the, in the idea, have the whole thing planned out, but we'll actually push the buttons and do the recording and run the camera. They can bring in their scripts as a Microsoft Word document. We can easily convert that and then run it on the teleprompter, and it makes them look very smooth and professional in their presentations. They can bring in their own pictures, which are full-size HD pictures, 1080 pictures like we're keyed against right now um, or they can shoot against the green screen and take their footage with them down to the media design lab and key in, in any image that they want later. The green screen here in video production is used for academic student projects only um, but we have two self-service booths down in the media design lab. One is a self-service audio recording studio where you can record your own audio tracks and read your own scripts into microphones or record podcasts. And we also have a self-service green screen room down there. It's much smaller than this area, but students can book that um, as well. So if you want to make music, you can go to the media design lab and record in there. I usually register to use the self-service recording studio because I like to record my own personal stuff in there. And it's really helpful because they have a lot of different softwares. Um, Ableton is one that they have in the recording studio if you wanna make music. Um, I have seen a lot of people get very proud of what they've done down in the Media Design Lab. Yeah, it's just great to have that hands-on experience and be able to say, hey, I did this all by myself. Or not all by myself, but with the help of people in the library who know what they're doing. So definitely a lot of the people that we see come down here are stepping out of their comfort zones. This is their first time down here. Um, they're they're kind of not sure what they should be doing at first, but once they start talking to us, uh, they start to get more comfortable, they start to get more into it. Uh, and then over time, you know, I've seen dozens of projects come through here, get started and then get finished. Uh, and it's just great seeing that and every time they're always like, hey, thanks for helping me out. It, we finished this up and it looks great. Uh, and I always just love seeing that. Getting to help people work on their projects or their assignments, it really makes my day. And, you know, it's, it's just, it makes it so much fun to work here. I enjoy sort of the little community that's sort of been built around here of, people coming in to work on projects. I learn new things down here all the time. So we're all just kind of like working together and building each other's skills up to, to try and achieve these goals that we've set.